Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Brave is busy rolling out the next major version upgrade for the desktop browser version 1.52, which they started rolling out on the 31st of May, which was late yesterday in my region. Now, um, just like um, most of the major version upgrades to Brave, um, there's a lot going on with version 1.52. Um, there are a lot of improvements, fixes, and new features. And the browser has also been upgraded to the latest Chromium platform, and that's because Brave is based on that Chromium engine. And just to dive straight in, because there's quite a lot to get through for the purpose of today's video. Now, um, I would consider the new feature to be the key highlight would be the um, vertical tabs. Now, the new vertical tabs, which have been made available in version 1.52, so um, very similar to Microsoft Edge, um, Brave now also includes uh, vertical tabs after this upgrade, which I think is a nice move. And vertical tabs are not enabled by default in the browser. Um, to enable the vertical tabs, we have to head to the main menu after this update has been applied. Head to Settings, Navigate to Appearance, and on the Appearance page, you'd have to scroll down until you get to the Tabs menu. And as mentioned, you have to turn those on manually. So use vertical tabs, toggle that on, and now you can see our tabs have been moved over to the left-hand side, which I think is a nice improvement. Now, over and above um, the vertical tab um, setting, once this has been toggled on, you'll see that two more settings, additional settings and options have been included. The first is show title bar. So if we toggle that off, um, you can see the title bar at the top has been removed. And I actually think when you are using vertical tabs, this is a better option because it just makes the browser look a whole lot cleaner and also gives you a little bit more real estate. And if you want to show the title bar again, you just toggle that on. And there we can see at the top, the title bar has been displayed again. And the next is expand vertical tabs panel on mouse over when collapsed. So you just move your mouse over that panel and you can see that expands that. And if you don't want that to happen, you toggle that off. And now we'll have to actually manually open that panel. And if you want it back, toggle that on and you can mouse over and that hover, that hover function opens up that panel. And uh, um, if you want to return everything to the title bar at the top and turn off vertical tabs, you just come back to the appearance page and you can toggle this feature off and then you can toggle it back on whenever you need it. And one other thing just to mention, um, if we head back to the panel, um, vertical tabs can be dragged and dropped as well. So you have the option for drag and drop operations and functionality. And as mentioned, toggle that off and everything gets placed back in the title bar at the top. Now, um, just to go through some other changes, because there is a lot to get through. And um, like most um, major version upgrades, Brave is um, focusing a lot on um, the wallet and the crypto um, functionality of the browser. And there's a lot of Web3 um, improvements, um, mostly to do with the crypto functionality and the crypto improvements. And if you want more information regarding those improvements, as there are numerous improvements, um, just go check out the release notes because there are too many to get into in this video. Now, um, some other changes. Um, they've added local host resources permission prompt. Now, what that's all about, just to mention this quickly, uh, is that it gives you control over um, those requests. So basically... Um, it means that they may be allowed or blocked individually. So that's a brave adding um, local resources permission prompt. Now something else, um, if we just head over to an image, uh, they've added copy text from image entry to image context menu on Windows. So this is only applicable to Windows. So any image that has text in it. So as an example, if we right click on this image, you can see copy text from image. And there we go, text copy from image. And you can actually change that text at the moment, it seems to be only available in English, but that may be something they might work on. And there we go, that text has been copied. And obviously, you can copy that to clipboard or into a document. So copy text from image now uh, has been added to the context menu. And that's only for Windows users. So just take note of that. And then um, if we just focus on the download bubble, there are two improvements that have, or two changes that have rolled out for the download bubble. Um, they've added remove list remove from list menu entry to download bubble context menu. So if you click on one of those downloads in the actual list, you'll see a remove from list and you can actually manually remove one of those entries. So remove list now added to the download bubble. And they've also added an alert icon in the download bubble to indicate when an insecure download is in progress. So I think that would be a nice improvement um, for whatever reason, if you are visiting um, dodgy sites, uh, it will tell you that that is an insecure download. And I actually think that's a nice privacy and security feature. 
And then what else have they added? They've re-added the ability to view and manage individual cookies stored per website. So for this, um, if we head to uh, the address bar and we enter, for this we just have to change a entry in the address bar. And if we just head to Brave Settings Content, just need to type this in quickly. And that would be all, forward slash all. So that's Brave Settings Content forward slash all. On this page, yeah, you'll see that um, what they have done here is they have re-added uh, the ability to view and manage individual cookies stored per website under this page, as mentioned. So that's Brave Settings Content All, if you type that into the address bar. And what this allows um, is it allows you um, to dis the browser to display all the cookies set by a particular website and you can actually then delete them individually. So yeah, you can see you just click on the little trash icon and you'll be able to um, delete those cookies per website, which I actually think is another nice privacy and security feature that has rolled out. Now over and above that, um, there are two fixes that have rolled out, um, one for HTTPS everywhere, which is a more secure um, connection. And they've also fixed a race condition which um, could occur in certain cases when using the Brave VPN um, on Windows. So that's another fix that's rolled out just for Windows users if you are using the new Brave VPN. And over and above that, um, that's basically the new features and the changes and improvements. And if you'd like to see if you have this update, as always, we head back to the menu, click on About Brave this time, and this process will upgrade you to the latest version. And I do find, though, that Brave does do a good job of updating itself automatically in the background. And the latest version is 1.52.117. And we've also been upgraded, as mentioned, to the latest Chromium platform, 114.0.5735.90, which is exactly the same now as the Google Chrome web browser. Now, just to go through these security fixes, um, there are 16 security fixes that have rolled out to the Chromium platform. So this is an important security update. So um, if you're not in interested in new features, just double check your browsers up to date because it is your first line of defense. And included in those 16 security fixes for the Chromium engine, there are eight high-risk vulnerabilities that have been addressed, which is your second highest after a critical. So as mentioned, this is an important security update regarding the Chromium engine, which the browser is based on. And if we click on um, that version, this takes us over to the release notes. And as mentioned, here are all the Web3 improvements. So if you click on that version and you are interested in all these Brave Rewards and Web3 improvements, you can just come check this out for yourself. So that's uh, more or less what's new in Brave version 1.52. And as I mentioned, I would consider the vertical tabs now to be the key highlight for this latest major release. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.